Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, just a few things. And the first one is um, we're getting closer. Um, as you saw last video, the makeover actually started. Um, you'll see the bed and my cat is sleeping, but she doesn't mind. There's that. And then I took a, you know, we ha had to spend the last week measuring around this room because in the corner of that bed where it is right next to me, that is where the new desk is going to go. It's going to be an L-shaped desk and please announce that we're getting closer to picking one. I mean, I mean, the one I'm literally looking at is... Super cool. It has a row of TikTok lights underneath it. And speaking of TikTok lights, I'm considering those as, I've considered those pretty much like during this whole process. Okay, the heater just went off. Moving on. Next thing I want to talk about is the healthy return to service for cruise ships. The first arrival is going to be 2nd of January, 2021 with the Konings Dam. This is subject to change, however. And then really good lineup for next year. The, the possibility of MSC Cruises making an appearance. And in fact, Norwegian Bliss and Norwegian Encore docking side by side in about 11-ish or so months from now. Of course, all this is pandemic pending, so it's subject to change without like any further notice whatsoever. All right, next up, Black Friday is going to be totally different. It's probably going to be more empty, but um, I just want to say this. But this past, actually yesterday, the um, a purple tier restrictions which are the most restrictive um, went into effect in San Diego. And what that means is that um, the retail capacity is going to be capped at 25%. So um, I'm going to be surprised to see how this will play out during Black Friday when this is put to the test. I mean, I mean, hopefully everybody is still distanced during Black Friday. I mean, if you know me, Black Friday is like the one of my favorite times of the year. I mean, there are a few things that I actually got from like JCPenney that I actually bought them on Black Friday. Both of my hoodies were Black Friday purchases. And then also it's coming up in one year since a very drastic series of events that went up in San Bernardino Mountains. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make a video about that. Probably will, but it won't be till the 29th. But again, the 22nd, that's when I answer 9 plus 10 on YouTube. 17th will be on Instagram. So another reason to follow me on all socials, um, links in the description. No more like handles in the description. Um, and I don't think there's that much to talk about. Like I haven't done that much. So we'll go ahead and move into um, this week's term and we will end this very short video there. <laughs> okay, everybody. Now I know what I'm talking, what I want to talk about. I found this in my DM box on Instagram the other day. It's very weird. It's, I just see one request and yeah. So I'm about to play it. Here we go. We've been trying to reach you concerning your car's extended warranty. You should have received something in the mail about your car's extended warranty. Since we have not gotten a response, we are giving you a final courtesy call before we close out your file. This sounds like a car warranty scam. And now they can reach us on Instagram. That's just great. Just great. The term of the week is restriction, a limiting condition of measure, especially placed in the law. I chose this because, well, there's new restrictions in regards to um, the coronavirus here in, in San Diego. So 
I thought, why not just do restrictions? So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, um, and we'll see you guys next video.